widespread reaction today about our KXOY4 News investigation, revealing problems at a downtown apartment complex that rents to felons and sex offenders. Our investigation poured through public records and court documents, finding hundreds of 911 calls from the new Washington apartments. 16 high-risk sex offenders live in a building that is also owned and managed by sex offenders. And today, well, we have heard from Spokane people who say conditions are even worse than we reported. KXY 4's Melissa Luck working for you with the fallout from our special report. Well, I woke up to emails from several sex offenders, either current or former residents of the new Washington apartments and another building owned by the same family. They talked about bed bugs and other dangers they faced just because no one else will rent to them with their criminal histories. I also heard from a family whose son has lived in the new Washington apartments for several years. He says the place is crawling with rats and mice and that the bed bugs are everywhere. He struggles because the fact his son is a convicted sex offender means few people will rent to him as well. Several people wrote comments on our Facebook page saying they had no idea so many offenders were living in such a questionable condition in a high trafficked area of downtown Spokane. And while that fact is concerning to many of us, most of those offenders don't have any special conditions that keep them from living near schools and daycares. One woman called to thank us for our report saying she hopes we keep digging, which we will. And I wanted you to update on the man whose release got this all started, David McCution. He was allowed to leave McNeil Island and come to Spokane only if he followed strict conditions and if the managers of the new Washington apartments agreed to supervise him. Today in Pierce County Court, the Department of Corrections argued that's not happening and want a new plan modifying his conditions and making sure he's in a place that's safe for him and safe for the community. The judge there did agree to modify those conditions, but in the offender's favor, increasing the number of public places he can go with pre-approval from his transition team and allowing him to hook up cable TV in his apartment, paid for with state money. I'm Melissa Luck, KXLY4 News.